Ladies and gentlemen, this is Random Street Theater. I am Richard Neal. It is, a. Uh, it's actually a rather hot day um, for this time of year when I'm filming this, which may not be when I'm posting this, but I have a uh, bottle here of Pennsylvania Dutch Pumpkin Spice Cream Liqueur. I could tell you that this stuff looks very thin for cream liqueur sloshing around like it shouldn't and I have in my glass I have cooled it with some coffee ice has a clear bitterness of Bailey's does not take the cold well The label's also a little crooked, but um, what you see on here is a glass topped with whipped cream and cinnamon, a pumpkin, and some cinnamon. Now, obviously, this is an October thing. You might see these come out in October. Pennsylvania Dutch is a... Um, brand of liquor I'm not terribly familiar with but you know it shows the pumpkin patch so it's distinctively an October thing just to be clear it's Memorial Day weekend when I'm filming this the pumpkin spice is a mild flavor here And that's a shame because you typically want a cream liqueur to have a robust flavor. And the reason you want it to have a robust flavor is because it's often used to mix. One might put this in coffee as a creamer, a hard late night coffee. Um, you can put this in uh, blended drinks to add flavor. I don't know, maybe maybe this needs to be mixed, but there's I mean it tastes primarily like Irish cream. That's what that's what I'm tasting. I can tell it's not straight Irish cream. Okay, there's no strong residue at the bottom, so it doesn't look like it's settled. I'm gonna shake this up a little, see if I get a different that sometimes happens with cream liqueurs is that the flavor might settle because the flavor particles uh, could be more solid or just heavier that is one of the reasons why cream liqueur should have a particular thickness it should be thicker than milk for ideally which would make it a superior addition to blended drinks you know, drinks out of a blender, you know, like a blended frappuccino. Yeah, it's a little stronger now that I've shaken it up. You know, this is a fine, um, there is a fly. It's hot. There are flies all over my neighborhood. This is a fine enough cream liqueur. It definitely attracts the flies. But, uh, yeah, as cream liqueurs go, it's well made, but it's not particularly interesting. That fly really wants this stuff. Why is he always in here? Anyway, so yeah, as cream liqueurs go, this is a solid enough cream liqueur. I would not call it um, great. This is not something I would run out and buy again. 
it is something that I will enjoy, but it doesn't stand out strongly over other cream liqueurs. This particular cream liqueur does its job, but pumpkin spice should be stronger. And typically, what you want with cream liqueur is something that you're either going to sip and enjoy the flavor, or something that's flavor is going to go a long way. Same thing with coffee creamer. And this does not do that. So yes, whereas this is a solid offering, it is not to be avoided. It is not to be sought out either. It will do the job. It's a fine alcohol for um, just leisurely sipping. But it doesn't have the pow it should have for what it is. Anyway, that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear yours in the comments below. I'm Richard. And I did forget, so I will say it now, for every thousand subscribers I get, I do purchase one of these bracelets from 4Ocean. 4Ocean pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. If you'd be so kind, just comment, like, and subscribe. You'll be doing your part for a better world. Now, I'm Richard. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Randall, yet again. And you can see, in addition to my bracelets from 4Ocean, each one representing a pound of trash pulled out of the ocean, I got me some Scooby-Doo and Save the Planet 2 metal from Koronker around my neck. Yes. Koronker. Koronker. Conquer something or other. Anyway, look. Here, here's how this works. You walk. You sign up for this thing like the owner of this channel. You walk. They plant five trees and send you this, you know, Scooby-Doo thing. You can Scooby-Doo and Save the Planet 2 just like was done for this channel. So you can help this channel, Scooby-Doo, and Save the Planet 2 by commenting, liking, and subscribing. Or you could, you could go do it yourself. So if you're lazy, click that like button, say something nice, and if, if you're not lazy, go sign up, you know, maybe, maybe uh, do some trick-or-treating, walk a haunted house, and then I want your face! Which is a perfect thing to do right now. How I love human face. Mmm.